Well, one of the difficulties when you're working with permutations and combinations is determining which is which. Um, and of course, the major focus then is a permutation. It's a permutation if the order is important. It's a combination if the order is not important. Now, it's not always easy to spot. And then, of course, we still have to determine what are our number of objects, what's our sample space. But that really comes after determining are we dealing with a permutation or combination. Order is important with a permutation. Order is not important with a combination. So let's look at a couple of examples where we're asked to identify uh, whether they are a permutation or a combination. It says a teacher uses a random generator to keep create a seating chart for 20 students. So it signs all the students a number, uses a random generator, uh, and puts it in an order, and then assigns that. So let's see. Question is, is the order important? 20 students, random generator. Well, a student can't sit in two seats at one time. So once they're chosen, they're out of the loop. So the order is important. So therefore, this would be a permutation. All right, let's look at the next one. 10 athletes enter a race. Top three finishers move over on to the next round. So is the order important? Does it matter if you're first, second, or third? Well, no, it really doesn't. If the top, if the top three move on, it doesn't matter if you finish first or third, you get to move to the next round. Or if you are second or first, you move to the next round. And so therefore, since the order is not important, this is a combination. Next, we're going to look at the probability of permutations and combinations.